All right, so we got the beams installed. This light switch here is just temporary. That's why it looks like crap. It's eventually gonna go over here. There'll be two switches. So we got the sandwiches in, with the half inch steel in between, and we just installed the pocket doors. Soft open, soft close. Nice. Open it. Nice. Do the bathroom. Nice. So hopefully Monday, I'm going up there in that attic, clean up some of them wires. I can't really see it. You see the fan up there. And we got to put a floor in up there, a nice stable floor, because right now he's, he had some rinky-dink 3H plywood up there that somebody could fall through. I want to allow her to be able to store a bunch of stuff up there without worrying about falling through the floor. Of course, you can't get anything, you can't get no material. It was, I had a hard time getting the two doors. Of course, they're mangled. Lowe's only had two. So I told him I cried a little bit, and the manager gave me $40 off. Something. But I got to fix both of them. I'm glad this is done. Finally got the temporary wall taken out. Because that was just in the way. I put some brackets up top too, tying the beam to the joist wherever I could. All the way down. Where they at? Had a couple left over. I use these things. And some of these Simpson strong tie screws. Nah, there's none in there. I think I used them all up. Yeah, because these are the bigger ones. I also got to figure this floor out. I had to take that threshold out. These doors are just in temporary. I'm going to have to take them back out and all the drywall but I was able to get this out without breaking the floor I'm just still not sure why he built it up like that there's no heated floor in there I'm hoping he didn't do anything foolish in there so now she's thinking about having me take this wall out and we're no longer gonna have the washer and dryer in here we're gonna take that out put it in the garage and have this open with two toilets and a shower and the whole floor is the shower so i have to put a drain in the floor and pitch everything i done one before in a mansion i just don't have a video on it that's probably what we're going to have to do here all this tile work here looks nice you know you come in you're buying the house you look oh wow nice tile and unfortunately the guy's stuck at the paint well you can't see now i took it all here you go Look what this guy did. He literally just buttered up the tile and stuck it to old paint. And the tiles literally just fall right off the wall. It's crazy. I don't know. Looks nice until you realize they're all loose. And these screws here holding the cabinets. Wow, can you at least tighten them up, bud? Apparently not. So I think she's gonna have me take these cabinets out. None of the screws, it's almost like he used a Phillips screwdriver and just screwed into drywall. Because this cabinet here is just free floating right now on the drywall because I took the old framing out. So this drywall is not attached right now. Thankfully this cabinet sits on the floor because he only had one screw in it anyway. 
right up there that hole one screw and it missed the stud so i'm sure this one's tied into this cabinet let's see well, he's got one up there he's got one up there Did here. Well, he's got nothing going in. He should have this. I don't know. What are you gonna do? But that's it. It's Friday. We're done. Monday's a new day. Actually, he does have a screw right here, a drywall screw. It's probably going through. I missed it. And you know what? I think I have pictures of that mansion job that me and the kid did. So maybe I'll, when I go home, I'll look for those pictures and I'll put them at the end of this video. There's another screw back there. I'm sure that missed a stud. Because when I cut the studs, they fell right out. <laughs> Right. 